Hi, this is Satish. Welcome to Satya Technologies. So now we can discuss a configuration management tool like Ansible. In DevOps, we have multiple configuration management tools like Ansible, Puppet, Chef, and Salstack. Okay. So here, Ansible is one configuration management tool, so which can maintain multiple nodes or servers. Now the question is how this Ansible will work. Okay, in Ansible we have the components like Ansible master. Okay, and we can control multiple nodes with this Ansible master. Okay, if you go with this other configuration management tools like Puppet, V contains the Puppet master and agents. Okay. If you go with this Ansible, Ansible is agent-less. Okay, so without any agent, we can manage multiple nodes. Okay, now here, what is the functionality of Ansible master? How it will control multiple nodes? First, this Ansible master will connect with multiple nodes through SSH. So we know this SSH is a secure shell. Okay. And Ansible uses push model. And since what are the configurations we developed at Ansible master can push to multiple nodes from central location. Okay. Now, what this Ansible master can do? Here the Ansible master can install packages for multiple nodes and it can do application deployment. Okay. And configurations and mailing of services and files user and group maintenance okay here we can use the playbooks our roles variables handlers tasks plays templates loops and ad hoc commands okay so the ansible master will prepare the different configurations or scripts so through the script we can maintain multiple nodes okay so irrespective of this node platform like ubuntu or divine centos or red hat so we can manage from this central location okay so ansible master can perform the orchestration okay to maintain multiple nodes now we can go with this what are different concepts in Ansible? So in Ansible, I can develop some multiple scripts and it will call it as playbooks. And here we can develop some Ansible roles and we can declare multiple variables and we can use handlers. The handlers can manage different services and we can use tasks. Okay, this task will perform a specific operation and each playbook can have multiple plays and we can use even templates templates are used for configurations and we can use the loops okay so by using the loops we can perform a specific task repeatedly and then we can use the ad hoc commands so the ad hoc commands will perform a specific task okay now we can go with this ansible Configuration management systems are designed to make controlling large number of servers easy for administrators and operations teams. Okay, if you go with this, the configuration management systems are designed to make controlling large number of servers or nodes. Okay, they allow you to control many different systems in an automated way from one central location here the central location is ansible master ansible is simple sorry ansible is a radically simple it automation platform that makes your applications and systems easier to deploy okay now the question is what is configuration management okay here we can see some different points for this configuration management okay 
we can apply these points for any CM tool. Okay. Here the CM tool can install packages for multiple nodes and it can do configuration of servers and application deployment. Yes, it can deploy the application on multiple servers and continuous testing of already installed applications. Okay. And the CM tools can do provisioning. Provisioning it contains like providing or making something available for multiple nodes okay and this configuration management tools can do orchestration okay so orchestration is a process of controlling multiple nodes from central location okay and next one automation of tasks okay so here what is configuration management package installation for multiple nodes and configuration of servers application deployment continuous testing of already installed applications provisioning so we discussed that provisioning is nothing but providing okay or making something available and next one orchestrations and automation of tasks okay here we have some multiple configuration management tools then why we have to use Ansible to see this Ansible features it is free and open source and Ansible is agentless so we are discussed that we have only the Ansible master which can control multiple nodes okay and we won't install any agent for nodes okay so it is agentless so no need for agent installation and management Next one, Ansible uses Python or AML. So here AML stands for at another markup language. With the help of AML, we can develop different playbooks and plays. And it is highly flexible and configuration management of systems. Okay. And large number of ready to use modules for system management. Okay. So Ansible will contains multiple predefined modules are ready to use modules and we can design our own modules okay so custom modules can be added if needed and next one configuration rollback in case of errors and it is simple and human readable okay so all these are some different features for Ansible okay so one is like it is a free and open source and it is agentless so without an agent we can control multiple nodes and Ansible uses Python or AML and it is highly flexible and configuration management of systems it contains multiple ready to use modules in sense predefined modules and we can also design our own modules okay now we can go with this Ansible architecture you see this core components one is ansible master okay so this user will interact with the nodes through ansible master here we have the host inventory playbooks core and custom modules okay here ansible will use some plugins like email plugin logging and other plugins here we can have multiple nodes okay and all these nodes can connect through this connection plugins okay and we can maintain all these servers either in public or private cloud okay to see this process here the user will connect with this ansible master okay and he will maintain the host inventory here the host inventory is a file which contains all node IP addresses okay if you have some multiple nodes yes we can maintain all these node IP addresses at host inventory okay next one playbook a playbook is a script okay 
So we are discussed that Ansible will use us playbooks. Okay. So with the help of playbooks, we can perform different tasks. Okay. Next one, Ansible can have some core modules. Okay. And all these modules are like predefined modules. Okay. Predefined modules. If you go with some modules like uh, ping is a module to connect to multiple nodes I like can use like apt to install some packages we can use an M module to install packages for Red Hat machines or CentOS machines and service is a module which can manage services okay so file is a module to maintain files okay like this we can use multiple predefined modules and we can design our own modules so we call it as a custom modules okay and all these modules are like user defined modules okay and ansible can have some plugins like email logging and other plugins and you can also use a connection plugin to connect to multiple nodes okay here we have to maintain some SSH connection okay so we have to create some SSH connection between this Ansible master and multiple nodes okay and we are discussed that Ansible uses push model push model so in this push model what are the playbooks we are designed in Ansible master can push to multiple nodes okay then the playbooks will execute on nodes okay and each playbook will perform a specific task okay thank you